This is section 11.1, .1, space figures and cross sections. The first thing we're going to talk about is a new vocabulary word called polyhedron. And a polyhedron is a 3D figure whose surfaces are polygons. For example, this here would be considered a polyhedron. If you notice, all of the sides of this figure, all of its surfaces, they're all polygons. We have rectangles, possibly squares on the ends, um, and they can be any figure. They can be any polygon. So there's a couple of vocabulary words that we want to learn about that describe different parts of polyhedron, and the first of those is a face. And the faces are the poly are the polygons, the, the sides, if you will. So this side here is a face that this is pointing to. Um, a face could also be this top part, or the face could be this bottom part. It could be any of the sides that you want it to be. Another vocabulary word that we need to learn is edge. And an edge is exactly what it says. It's where two of the polygons meet. So this is an edge. This is an edge right here. This would be an edge. And so on and so forth. And this goes the whole entire way all around this um, polyhedron. So all of those are edges. And the last one that we have is vertex. And just like what we are used to, vertex are like points of intersection. So this right here would be a vertex, that point right here, where those three um, polyhedron intersect. This point over here, that's a vertex. Um, this one over here, that's a vertex too. And so on and so forth until you get them all the way around the figure. So those are our vocabulary words for all these polyhedron. So what's really cool now is way, way back ago, there was a man named Leonard Euler. And his name is spelled like this. And he was a super brilliant mathematician. He came up with tons of um, information for all different branches of mathematics, particularly in calculus. And he came up with a formula to help us determine the faces and edges and vertices of any polyhedron, and it's called Euler's formula. And we're going to take a look and see what it says, and then we're going to look at a couple examples to see how to use it. Okay, so Euler's formula says F plus V equals E plus 2. Well, what does that F, V, and E stand for? Well, look back over here in our picture. The F stands for faces, so the number of faces that the figure has. V stands for the number of vertices there are. E stands for the number of edges that there are. And in this formula, this is how all three of those are related. And this is true for any polyhedron. So, why is that important? How does it help us? Well, let's take a look at an example. Okay, so in this example, we're going to use a square pyramid to help us. And what we're going to do first is we are going to go ahead and count the number of faces and the number of vertices, and then use Euler's formula to help us find the number of edges. So I'm going to keep this color-coded. Um, the number of faces that I have, so we need to do F first. So let's see, I see one face here one here, one behind everything, one to the left hand side, and then one on the base. So that's five faces. The number of vertices, well let's see, I've got one here, two, three, four, and five. So that sounds good. So now I'm going to plug this into Euler's formula to see how many edges there are. So that would be F plus V, so that's 5 plus 5, equals E, which I have not solved for yet, so I'm going to keep that there, plus 2. So let's add 5 and 5 together first to give us 10. That gives us E plus 2. And then I would subtract 2 from both sides, so 10 minus 2 is 8. And we can go into this figure and see if that is, in fact, true. So let's take a look. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So sure enough, this formula does work. Let's take a look at another example that uses the same formula. Okay, so here's our next figure. This is called a trapezoidal prism. And what we're going to do is we are going to find the number of faces and the number of edges and then use that to come up with the number of vertices that there are. So let's go ahead and count the number of faces or the sides, if you will. So I've got this back side here, this side, this one, the front, and I have the bottom, and I have the top. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. All right. And the number of edges. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's a lot. All right. So now we're going to plug these into our formula. So F plus V, so that's going to be 6 plus V, I still don't know what V is, equals E plus 2, so that's going to be 12 plus 2. So I'm going to do the 12 plus 2 part first, it's 14, and then I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. 14 minus 6 is 8. And so we can double check that by looking at my picture. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight. So there we go. We know it does work. And as far as the cross-section part goes, um, we are going to do an activity in class to show you about that. And that concludes this tutorial.